Drama Llamas. Today we're going to be talking more about technical theater and this time we're going to be talking about theatrical design. Let's get started, shall we? So when you are designing, you need to know the design elements. These are six different things that you need to focus on whether you're designing costumes, props, set, hair and makeup, publicity, lights, etc. So we're going to go over these six. The six are color, value, texture, shape, line, space. Let's get started on the first one. Color. Color is an element consisting of hues of which there are three properties. Hue, chroma, or intensity, and value. Color is present when light strikes an object and is reflected back into the eye. A reaction to a hue arises in the optic nerve. That is the basic definition for color. When we're talking about color, we're using color in different ways. So we need to understand all the different aspects of color. The primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. From these three colors, we can mix them together to create our secondary colors. Purple, green, orange. Another thing that is very important to someone that is doing design is to understand and know what the color wheel is. This is a small example of a color wheel. You can also find them online and purchase handheld ones to help you as you design. Then we have neutrals. Neutrals are like white, gray, black, brown. Then you can look at complementary colors, colors that complement and contrast each other. Then we have warm colors like yellow, orange, and red. Think like fire and cool colors that are more cooling like green, purple, and blue. The thing about colors, you can use color in all kinds of design. Artists use them to create emotions, and we need to create emotions with what we do with sets, lights, costumes, hair, makeup, etc. Next technical element is value. Value is the lightness or darkness of tones or color. So for example, we have white to black here on this. It goes through seven different values of black. See how black gradients back into to white? This is to show value. Here's value in color. So the intensity, the saturation of red, the, as it gets more white in it, it has less value. Like in value, you can show value through contrast showing the likeness and unlikeness of something. So like light versus dark, so black and white, or um, co unlike contrasting colors, blue and yellow. Pattern versus no pattern, different patterns against each other. Super detailed against undetailed. All of these you can show contrast. If you need to show contrast in a play, a great way is to use this idea of contrast for like sets and costumes, etc. Our next technical element is texture. Texture is the perceived surface quality of art. Smooth versus rough. Like the silk and the glass, the smooth glass, compared to the roughness of the bark or the sandpaper. Hard versus soft, like brick and granite, it's hard, it's rough. We're not going to say rough, but strong. And then maybe like the softness or the smoothness of like fuzzy fur or clouds or cotton. Woven versus bumpy or lumpy, like the woven of like baskets or braids. Lumpy, kind of the example here, we've got that spiky ball or the lumpiness of pumpkin. Next is shape. Shape is defined by other elements like length, width, volume, etc. So we're going to talk about and look at shapes that you can use to create different emotions and feelings in your design. Large versus small. Large and small. If you need to make something in your design look smaller, maybe the things around it are 
scaled up in size. Shapes. Geometric shapes are our first type of shape. These are things like circles, triangles, squares, rectangles, ovals, trapezoids, lightning bolts, hearts. These are geometric shapes that you can use to help in your design. Then there are things called organic shapes, freeform shapes, natural shapes. Next we have line. Line is an extension of a point elongated mark or connected between two points. Just as you think, it's a line, one right after the other. There are different types of lines and you, can, you need to utilize lines in your designs. Long versus short, broken lines versus thick lines and thin lines, dotted lines, parallel lines, horizontal versus vertical lines, zigzag, wavy and curly lines, diagonals, tapered, varied, spiral. You can use lines to help tell a story when you're thinking about design and think about that as you are designing any part of technical theater. Next is space. Space is how shapes are arranged in theater or art to create a sense of space. So you can use space, like example, like if you wanted to fill up the space, you make it big, you can make things bigger than life. How you arrange things? Is it extending out past the normal boundaries? You can use space to show distance. You can overlap things to show space. You can use the positive space and the negative space of something. So again, we are going back to our six elements, color, value, texture, shape, line, space. When you look at these and think about these, you need to think about them every time you design, whether you're designing lights, costumes, props, set, think about each six of these elements of design as you design and be able to express to others how you are using them. Well, Drama Llamas, that's it for today. Go out and use the six elements of technical design the next time you design something. Bye.